The tip I'm going to talk about now is the one thing golfers don't even like to hear the word mentioned. Just the thought of it can make many people tense up and when it actually happens to you, it can ruin your confidence for the rest of that round and sometimes for even longer. Of course, I'm referring to the shank. It's that one word that oh, it just brings tension into us. And when it happens, the ball goes completely out of control, often a lost ball 90 degrees from where we're trying to hit. Now, how does it happen? Well, you see, basically the golf ball gets caught up right in the heel of the golf club here, so it's hitting the bottom of the shaft in effect, and it sends it off at that angle. It can happen for a few different reasons, but the primary reason is because you've lost room to hit the golf ball. Instead of being able to hit the golf ball out the center of the club here, you've lost that space, which now means you end up hitting it over here towards the shank. So let's look at the likely causes of that. Presuming this is basically on the idea that you've already got a good setup position. If you're in a good setup and you've given yourself enough room to hit the golf ball in, and as a general guide, you might say from the top of the handle here to my thighs, it's about a hand span of width here. That's a general guide for you. Assuming I start from there, a shank will be caused if your weight goes onto your toes as you're swinging. I've now lost my original posture, my back side is tucked in, now you can see there is no gap here whatsoever. I'm pushing the shank of the club towards the golf ball, bang, it's going to fire off at 90 degrees. So the feeling we've got to get is once we've established a good posture and starting position here, I've got my distance, I've got a nice angle in my body, I want to retain those angles as I'm swinging best I can. Now you can see as I'm coming into the golf ball here now, I've still got a very similar gap. That's given me enough room to make sure I can connect with the middle of the golf club. So be careful with your setup. It may be worthwhile having that checkpoint at the beginning to make sure you've got enough room. When you swing, keep your posture the same throughout. When you do that, you'll have plenty of room to swing the arms down and through. The ball connects in the middle of the club face. It'll be a lot happier game. In summary, point number one, give yourself enough room between you and the club at setup. Two, maintain the angle of your posture throughout the swing.